Yo, this is a message um, for my email list. I don't feel like typing today, but I felt like I should say something to y'all uh, to keep my weekly commitments. Hello. Uh, I just gave a talk to a company about race stuff and the American project and how to citizen. And at the very end, I lost my shit. Just at the end, I muted myself and I would just, you know, you stick the landing and then you collapse because you just like left it all out there. And I've just realized, uh, realized that's exactly what it was. I realized, I combo realized and felt um, that that debate last night was uh, horrendous. Uh, not in a like two old men who couldn't, I don't have, I don't have any space for that false equivalency garbage. There's, there's one person who, uh, who wants to govern and wants to hold the office of president who believes in the American project. That person is Joe Biden. And there's another person who believes only in chaos and self-aggrandizement and self-enrichment and ugliness, true ugliness. And a lot of people will do their analysis of the high lights, if you can call them that, of that moment. I'm not going to waste my time. You know what you saw. You don't need someone else to tell you the difference between right and wrong. No one really needs that. We like it. It feels good. I, I would love to have left feeling like Joe Biden really showed. I don't need Joe Biden to show me anything. I don't need this president to show me any more or less if it was possible. I know what I got to do. And I think you know what you got to do. <laughs> we have to vote our asses off in all the ways that are available to us. And we have to prepare for the ugliest thing most of us have ever seen in our lives. We're a very special nation and we're not that special at the same time. And is clear to me um, that this has gone on too long. You know, this is no fun and games. It's not enjoyable. It's toxic. It's toxic. At flashbacks to my own childhood bullying experiences as the the bully. I wasn't. I wasn't the bully. Okay. We can't continue like this. And I said it a lot before. I'll say it again. This is not the doing of one man. There's a whole apparatus enabling this. It's a whole political party co-signing this. And there will be millions upon millions of our neighbors voting for this. They live right across the street. They may be sleep in the next room. And we have to wrestle with that. Because we have relationships with them too. But this madness... Yo, I'm through. Like, I'm so tired. So I don't know if that did anything for you or not. I don't know if it did anything for me or not. But I had to say something. And I probably put this in uh, my MailChimp. Press send. See what happens. Whatever you are feeling after watching that, it is valid. It was horrible. And if you're out here saying, oh, the Biden had a great debate performance, you're lying. It is impossible to have had a great debate performance because that was not a debate. That was an assault on all of us, on the very idea of us. And it came so easily to this president. He's been practicing his whole life for this level of destruction. And it's going to keep happening. We have to stop it. We have to vote in numbers we've not seen in generations. And then we have to be prepared to insist that those votes are counted and insist that this dude goes. Be safe. Be careful. I don't know that we've had a president who so openly fomented rebellion from people who are already in power. How do you, that's an interesting trick, man. To cry rebellion when you control the keys to the kingdom. It's a uniquely white supremacist move to play the victim as you subjugate others. 
But he's very good at it. And he's got allies in it. So be careful, too. I cannot pretend everything's going to be all right. I don't know. No one does. Hopefully, we together will decide that it will be by our actions. Make sure you vote. And then defend that vote. And more.